good morning you guys welcome back to another video another vlog today i woke up in a really good mood and i was kind of nervous about waking up again because i fell asleep really early i woke up at like 2 30 3 a.m could not go back to sleep until a while but i ended up falling back asleep and i actually felt pretty rested when i woke up so yay we're good i really hate when i like wake up in the middle of the night stay up for too long and then i just feel super groggy and tired in the morning got on my workout clothes so i'm ready one last step for my morning routine i gotta take my vitamins and here they are these are from care of thank you so much to care for partnering with me on this video every morning i've been taking my care of vitamins and a few things that i've been wanting to focus and just improve on are better energy and stress levels throughout the day my skin quality of sleep and just like all things relating to my health and my fitness in order for care of to put together my little assortment of vitamins all i had to do was go online to their website take a quick five minute quiz they ask simple questions regarding what my daily activities look like what my skin type is, what some of my main focuses are, and basically just what I would want out of taking vitamins. So from that, they're able to recommend what vitamins and supplements would be a good addition to my diet. It's super convenient, and once you order, it gets shipped right to your door. So this is the cute little box that it comes in. I just set it by my desk, right next to my laptop so that I always see it and I don't forget to take it in the morning. Just pull a packet out from the bottom. This packaging is eco-friendly, made out of compostable materials. You can check out this link for more info on how to compost them. Definitely recommend taking vitamins, adding this to your routine because there are a ton of benefits from it, especially if, like I mentioned, you know, looking to improve certain things in your health. Also, if you have certain dietary needs, if you're vegetarian, if you're vegan, you gotta get your nutrients somehow. If you guys are interested in trying care for yourself, I'll leave a link down below, which is where you can take the quick online quiz. And you can also use my code CHRIS for 50% off your first order. Just a few here. Vitamins are in, the deed is done, let's go work out. So I am so stoked because I actually mentioned this in a vlog previously, but we ordered a Peloton bike for the house, for the family, and it arrived a little bit earlier this week. And so today I'm gonna try it out for the first time. I would have done one yesterday, but I wasn't vlogging. And also I had already worked out in the morning and by the time I was set up, I had already showered, you know, I didn't want to get sweaty and blah, blah, blah. So today, today is the day we're gonna give it a test run. I think my dad just got off of it. Basically a Peloton is like an indoor cycling bike and it has a screen so that you can take classes either live or they have a bunch of classes on demand, whatever. Definitely really nice having different ways to switch up my workouts, especially if I'm working out from home. So this bike will be a lot of fun. If any of you guys have a Peloton or you're on the Peloton app, definitely add me at San Francisco. I'm not even sure how that works, but maybe we can connect on there. This is the workout outfit I've put together for today. Gymshark, Whitney Simmons sports bra, and then just use light blue Align leggings from Lululemon. I'm gonna put on some socks. My cycling shoes are downstairs. My workout plan for today is subject to change depending on how I feel after this class. I might also just do an outdoor workout so that I can also film it for Instagram. I think I want to make it a point to post at least one workout on my Instagram a week and then post two videos here on my channel where I also post workouts within those vlogs. That is a goal that I had written out for myself like at the start of 2021. I don't know how well I've been doing with that, but yeah, I'm gonna try and work on that. But anyway, the bike is in the garage, so let's head downstairs. Alrighty, here we are in the garage and here it is in all its glory it's a wee bit dark in here but that's fine <laughs> my dad's profile picture oh my god so far my dad and i have both set up our accounts so there's my dad in his halloween costume <laughs> and there's me at berries okay what should i do there's just a ton of different workouts you can choose from they also have just like strength classes and other stuff also with the peloton membership if you have the app you can also do like outdoor running workouts where it's an audio and they'll guide you through running which i will probably try in the future I saved a couple that i knew i wanted to try 2000 oh that looks like it could be fun kygo drake dua lipa Ooh. okay 45 minute ride i'm down let's try it let's see if i can properly clip in ah there we go Ooh. Three, two, one, let's do it. 
That was so much fun. I sweat a ton and my hair was down and my whole back was sweating So now my hair is all wet and I threw it up in a bun, but oh my god, that was so Awesome, just so excited to have this thing in the house and also just very very thankful shout out father Okay, so I just got to the park where I wanted to film my workout because they have like a little pull-up bar section And I wanted to try and incorporate it into this workout But there are a lot of people out there and there's specifically a group of old guys playing basketball right by the area that I would be in and I don't know I'm just afraid that they're gonna like knock over my tripod yeah that would not be good um my camera is very very fragile and also I just did not even take into account that it's the middle of the day the sun is right above me and the lighting was horrendous so that was a fail <laughs> I'm gonna go to Target when all else fails go to Target. I did have something in mind that I wanted to pick up, so I'm gonna see if they have it there. Online it says they have them here, but we'll see. We'll just have to see. Let's go to Target. Yay! I haven't been in a while, so this is exciting. I'm very proud of myself for only living with what I intended to leave with. Let me show you. Actually, you probably already saw. I got a pair, a pair of dumbbells, and these babies are 25 pounds. Actually, a lot heavier than I'm used to. So I only have five tens, 12s, and there might be a pair of 15s laying around somewhere, but I don't know where they are. It's been fine, it's been doing the job, but pair of 25s I think will be perfect. I always use 25 pounds at the outdoor workout classes that I go to, and we pretty much do like literally everything from upper body to lower body. So I can start building some strength, yes! Oh! Obviously for the longest time, all weights were sold out and were ridiculously priced, but I was able to find this pair at Target. I did have to go to two Targets and ended up waiting a while because there were none on the shelf but they said they had them in store so I had to order it online and then it said it would take up to two hours anyways long story short I got them and I can't wait to work out with them because who knows how long it's gonna be until gyms open again but also I just feel like it's nice to have heavier weights at home mission accomplished I'm hungry I need lunch so I'm gonna go home whoa don't know why that was playing Curry for days. Look at that giant pot. Good morning, you guys. Today it is Wednesday? I think it's Wednesday. And this morning I've been really busy just like prepping because I have some content to shoot today. Um, why am I talking like that? Any day that I do vlog, I feel like I have company because I have you guys. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a wonderful morning, day, night, whenever you're watching this. You might have already noticed that I'm wearing this fun little workout set from Under Armour, which is really exciting. I'm working with them over on my Instagram at San Francisco, so if you want to follow me there, definitely go do that. And yeah, um, put some makeup on, made sure to brush my hair this morning, and I also repainted my nails. I can't believe how long my nails are getting right now. It's actually crazy how they haven't broken yet. And these are my natural nails. Ah, hopefully didn't jinx it though. Let's pray that they don't break. I did use a fast drying Sally Hansen top coat, which I definitely recommend. And my nails are pretty much dry. So I think I should be good. I'm going to go drive and film or like take photos at a different location. I'm actually not sure where yet. Sometimes I just like drive around and I just think about it. Basically all I need is my tripod this camera which i do use to take a lot of my instagram photos the pictures always come out really really nice and a lot better than my iphone and they also sent over a pair of these tri base rain 3 shoes the color coordination here is crazy i love it i wish i knew how to braid or do something other than a bun or ponytail because then it would look more sporty and fun hmm. this is about as fancy of a braid that i can do so Okay, yeah, I like that. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. Gosh, it is so cold out today. I'm wearing this like furry jacket thing to keep me warm. Ooh, wow. Okay, 
Do I know where I'm going to shoot today? No. I have a couple ideas in my head. Honestly, maybe I'll just drive around and if something comes to mind or if I see something, then I'll stop there and take some photos. If the scenery has good composition, if I can just imagine the photo being taken there, then that's a for sure yes. I also need to consider lighting. It's like 11.30 right now and at like 12, 1, that's like the peak hours of when the sun is at its highest point. Is that what it is? I don't know. Yeah, it's usually super bright, which is not ideal for photos, but if you're in the shade, you know, that's fine. <laughs> Someone is honking and it is a red light and I cannot turn on the red because there's a sign that says no turns on red. People need to chill. Oh my god, who is honking? I don't know if it's behind me or in like in front of me. You're so beautiful, my heart goes Okay, so I see some potential in this area, right where that like little bench thing is. Tripod is from Amazon. Recently got a new one to replace my other one because my other one was broken. I thought I had the other one in here. Guess not. It's so cold and windy. Also, there is absolutely no one here. If you can't hear me, I'm sorry. I think we got the shot. I hope so. Okay, now I gotta go home. Oh, finish up some editing and email stuff, but I'm craving an acai bowl and I feel like that would be a nice little trait to myself. I am definitely in the mood for that. Oh, I miss you 24. Oh, can you please open up? Oh man, Phil's coffee is right next to this acai place, but I will resist. Tempting, but no. Here's the bowl. Oh my god, it looks so good. It's from this place called Acai R. I love going there because there's so many customizable options. I got the normal Acai, Acai. Oh my god, I don't know how to say that. There's like a matcha blend, chia seed pudding, peanut butter, and all the fruits that you want. This is a medium size. It ended up being like around $12, which is like pretty normal, I would say. This is like definitely super filling. Let's dig in. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Also, before coming home, I stopped by Sephora to get this cleanser. It's a foaming oil cleanser from Skin Fix. Yet another product that my sister has put me on because she knows a lot about skincare. This literally melts your makeup off and I actually haven't used makeup wipes in a really long time. I've been using like my cleansing balm from Belief or just not wear makeup at all. But yeah, my sister has this oil cleanser at her house. I tried it. My makeup came off so easily and then all I had to do afterwards was just do another cleanse. A little double cleanse system. The lady at Sephora said that this is really good too. So yay. I'm excited to use it later when I have to take all of this off. Mm. Mm. What's the motive? What's the motive? Mm -hmm. Pesto pasta. This pasta is left over from when we had the feta tomato one. Just threw in some pesto, chicken. Garlic, lots of garlic. Good morning. Oh my gosh, wait. Oh, why do I always do this? I literally had so much time this morning, but I spent a lot of it just lagging. Also, when am I ever gonna get a new tub of pre-workout? Because this is literally running so low. I feel like I've been trying to get the last scoop for so many days in a row now. I just brushed my teeth and so it's so sour. All right, I'm off to my workout class. I didn't end up working out yesterday because I was just working from home and also I was just sore from the past two days. Much needed rest day, but I gotta go now. Last night I spent a little bit of time putting together a new playlist on Spotify and wanted to share with you guys. It's called Manifest That 
stuff. <laughs> I came across this one song on TikTok actually, and it's called Wake Up by Chris and Teeb, and it's just like full of affirmations and just like good things to remind yourself every day. And when you sing along to it, you know, it just puts you in a good mood. And yeah, that like inspired me to just put a whole manifestation playlist. So it's full of good vibes and just good messages to yourself daily reminders, whatever, like Know Your Worth by Khalid. Highly recommend. I'm Hello, you guys. I am back from my workout and I've been back home for well, a few hours now. It's already 1 p.m. but I've been taking care of video stuff and sending emails. The huge. Ooh, the workout today was so good. It literally left me laying there on the floor, lifeless in Shavasana. If you're not familiar with the outdoor classes that I'm always referring to, basically it's just like a boot camp style workout where we use weights, we use battle ropes, we use medicine balls, and then we also use bungee cords today, which was honestly the worst part, but also it burned the best. <laughs> While one person was like running in place, the other person was holding on to it, adding resistance, and then we were like tugging each other and holding each other back, but it was so fun. My booty was burning from it. Yeah, it was just a really, really good workout. And months that I've been taking these classes, um, it never seems to get any easier, which is good. It's always a challenge, which I love. Don't get me wrong, I love doing my own workouts and whatever, but I think it's really nice getting to go to these classes alongside some of my friends and just having someone scream at me telling me what to do and just pushing me to my limit to the point where I feel like I'm literally going to pass out. So shout out to Nia if you're watching this. I don't know if she's watching this or not, but I had leftover pesto pasta from yesterday. Also finishing up this Premier Protein chocolate hazelnut with oats protein shake. It's so good. I should probably shower soon. I was surprised that I haven't yet because usually I'm just like workout come straight home shower right away i don't think i showed you guys my february spread in a vlog i did do a tiktok on it but i am so in love with it and it makes me so happy whenever i flip through it let me show you this is for my fellow armies out there you know who you are and here is february i had so much fun putting this together obviously we've got bts here and the theme was boy with love colored everything in with marker and then i ended up printing a photo and just pasting it right there and then more photos of them are we surprised i actually didn't use my bullet journal for the first two months of february for some reason so i don't have my usual habit trackers a monthly spread or the first two weekly spreads but i decided to just do this social tracker which is basically keeping track of the days that i've posted on each of these platforms. Obviously, I haven't been doing the hottest job on YouTube and Instagram, but my TikTok game has been on point in the past two weeks or so. I've been posting like every other day, maybe twice a day, and this is kind of what my weekly spreads all look like. I always make them the same, same boxes. I just change up the color scheme, and yeah, it's the best because I can list out anything, everything, and it all fits here. Good morning. So, it is another day. I'm not sure when the last time I vlogged was, but I'm just gonna continue off from where I left off. Just been getting ready this morning. It's just about 7.40 and I'm gonna take Elvis on a walk. I have my outdoor workout class today at nine and all morning I've been debating if I should ride my bike there to class because I used to do that, but I'm honestly so tired after my workout that like the thought of biking home afterwards is just a lot. It's very dark so you can't really even see what I'm wearing, but I'm wearing Gymshark long sleeve biker shorts and a vest to keep me warm, I guess. <laughs> hey Elvis. He just got a shower yesterday, so he is extra fluffy and extra white. Oh, so cute. my bike ride and my workout after I took Elvis on a walk I was like oh do I have enough time to bike myself over but I gave myself like 40 minutes to get to my workout class and it was honestly really nice because I could just like cruise and not rush and bike over there I was like this close to driving myself but I figured I should just bike because it's a really nice day in the city I have you guys to thank for keeping me accountable because I told the vlog that I might go on a bike ride this morning and because I said that 
and spoke it into existence. I was like, well, I guess I gotta do it. I gotta follow up with my word. Oh, Elvis. You love basking in the sun, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh, I look crazy. Don't mind the hair, should have brushed it out a little, but it's okay. For lunch, I'm gonna make a big salad because we just bought these salad kits from Costco. I'm gonna be using this avocado ranch salad mix. I'm also gonna top it off with one of these veggie burgers from Trader Joe's. Such a good combo. I feel like it just mixes perfectly. It's made with like black beans and roasted corn and you can just pop these in the microwave or you could like pan fry them. I'll probably just pop it in the microwave. Portion of that to here. Oh! Told y'all it was gonna be a big salad. <laughs> little tortilla chip things almost and a little bit of corn. Cheese. Some avocado. Here's another random topping. I have these parm crisps. These are from Costco. They're like these super cheesy. Mmm, so good. Crush them up. Hell yes. The burger is done. She's steaming. It's all in little pieces now. Top it off on there. And last step, the dressing. Creamy avocado ranch dressing. Oh. All right, and that is lunch. Holy, I'm so excited to eat this. While I enjoy this, I'm just gonna catch up on some YouTube videos. And then afterwards, I'm gonna get started on some emails and just editing stuff. Mm hmm It's crazy that salads this size or even smaller maybe are so expensive when you go to restaurants. But if you have all the ingredients at home, it's super inexpensive to make. And those Costco salad kits, I'm pretty sure they're like five to six dollars and they're good for maybe three to four salads. So yeah, I highly recommend. Oh my God, it is nine o'clock and BTS is gonna be on MTV Unplugged and they're doing a little segment. My sister and I plan to watch this together, but she ended up getting scheduled for work today. So yeah. and everyone watching out there. Hello, we are BTS. BTS. And this is MTV Unplugged present BTS. I'm not okay right Oh my god, they sound so good. Here is Life Goes On and Dynamite. Let's go. Never get tired of hearing these songs. No matter how many performances they do, they're always different. Oh. So sad that it's over but i'll take the five songs they were amazing all right you guys so that is going to wrap up this video this vlog and i really really hope that you enjoyed i feel like i haven't posted a long vlog like this in a while and yeah i just wanted to bring them back hope you enjoyed spending the last few days with me i'm positive that that wasn't a full week but we're just gonna call it a week in my life it's okay if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're not already thank you guys so so much for watching that is it for this video i will see you guys in the next one